Hello everybody out there in Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, man. It's Heather Zebart, your Goofy Cargo, coming at you from ID Chrysler. I'm here to do a virtual tour on this beautiful, all new 2022 Jeep Wagoneer Series 3. So come along. We'll start off to show it off this beautiful Wagoneer uh, thing. <laughs> All right, let's start at looking at the back seat. Uh, as, a, as a mom of six, I absolutely love the back seat. I'm actually gonna just walk right in here. There we go, so you can see just how big the leg room is in this. And actually, you can adjust that to go up because I'm nice and short, but the person sitting behind me might not be, so I can adjust that. From back here, you can see we have temperature controls for our backseat passengers. Okay, we have USB, USC ports. We have a household 115 volt plug that anybody other than me could open up for you. Then we have cup holders, a nice spot to set uh, snacks and things right there. You also have heated seats back here as well. So your backseat passengers are going to be extra comfy back here. I'll also show you the third row. Look at this. I'm a grown woman and I can walk right back here. Look at how comfy this is. Okay. I know I'm short. I'm five foot two, but I am still a grown woman and I can crawl around back here. Easy cheesy. You also have USB ports and USC ports for your third row as well. And that's on both sides. Then you have everything is uh, power. You've got power folding seats. You can push the uh, seat back here. I'll sit back here so you can see that this is actually a tilt. So I can go up and I can go back to make myself extra comfy. You also have a moonroof right here as well. So super nice and easy and comfy. All leather seats. And you'll, I'll show you some other stuff uh, when I get to the back. But I'll show you that these seats do have um, the system for car seats. So you can lock them in here. And then, although as easy as it was to get back there from this direction, but you can also push this little button and it power folds that way. So you can exit this way. That way, if you have car seats here, it's still easy for somebody to access the third row from there as well. All right. Look at the passenger seat, because that's of course super important. You'll notice when I open the door, super nice power running boards come on out. And you'll notice that it's nice and low to the ground, which I love as a short person. Right now, currently I have this at the entry exit uh, level for the air suspension. I'll show you in a little bit here what it looks like to raise it all the way up for off-roading uh, use as well. But you have, of course, your power seats, power windows on the passenger seat. These are gonna be heated and vented as well. And then I'm gonna show you, after I start it up, how you actually have a screen right here for your passenger. So your passenger can actually uh, control the navigation and assist the driver as well. Come around and take a look at this beautiful front. Notice there's a camera right here. This does have the 360 camera, and I'll show you what that looks like from the inside in a little bit here. You've got parking sensors, and then this right here is actually kind of a camera that powers the adaptive cruise control as well as your uh, emergency stopping as well. So you've got beautiful LED lights. Let's take a look at the back seat, or the back, as well. So there's a button right here that I can push to open it, as well as a button right on the key fob. And then coming in here, there's also a button right here that will open and close it. It also adds, uh, gives you the ability to change the height at which this goes up. So if you have a smaller garage, you can actually bring this down and then push that button and hold it. 
and then it sets it to that height. I also like that because when I put a drive out sticker in the back, I can actually reach it. Okay? But we'll set it there. All right, so from back here, there's a lot going on. Not only do you have a little bit of storage down here, and this is also where you access your car jack, but you also have the ability to fold down all of the seats at the push of a button. Super easy, and now look at all the space that you have. I'm pretty sure you could haul a queen-size bed, if not even a king-size bed, back here. So much space with that. And then they come right back up for you. Beautiful. You've also got uh, an AC adapter here in case you need to plug something in. You've got little hookies for your groceries. These are technical terms, guys. That's all I use. Beautiful. You've also got your camera right here, and then you've got parking sensors right back here to help keep you safe. And then underneath here, you're going to have a uh, class 4 receiver hitch. driver's side that's the most important right all right first i'm going to point out that we have blind spot monitoring on here if you're not familiar with that feature you're going to have a triangle on this mirror as well as the other side mirror that what that does is just lights up for you if somebody's in your blind spot you can have it set to chime at you only if you turn the signal light on or start to maneuver in that way so it's just a really great safety feature so We'll come on in here. You can see you've got the upgraded, beautiful Macintosh sound system, so that's going to sound really great. You've got power, your power locks, power windows. You've got the ability to uh, lock out the windows so your passengers don't bug you by rolling the windows down. In case you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you've got power folding mirror, power mirrors. You've got memory seats all right here. Beautiful wood grain interior accents. You've got the power seat, power lumbar. Of course, this is leather, heated, vented. Your steering wheel is going to be heated as well. I love the nice, sleek design of the Wagoneer steering wheel. Um, you've got your pedal adjusters right here, automatic headlights. You're also going to have um, the automatic dimmers and the automatic um, rain-sensitive wipers as well are some added features. And then you've also got the uh, power steering adjust as well so very nice and if you are using the memory seats it's gonna you it's gonna remember your steering wheel your seat as well as your mirrors and your radio preset so let's go take a drive and take a look what the heck is Heather doing Heather what are you doing Oh, don't mind me. I'm just relaxing in the relax mode here. Okay, that's it. I want this. I would totally drive home from work, sit in the driveway, and just relax before going in. This is perfect. What else do we have? Forest? Ooh. This is nuts. Aquarium? Oh, that's what we're here for. Aurora? Oh, that's... Alright, this, this is too much. This is too much. Alright, Andy. Alright. Are you still recording? All right, so I'm gonna quickly try to go over some of this stuff. There is so much with the Wagoneer. I could do a half hour long video and just bore everybody. But I'll go over this. You've got the Uconnect 5 system in here. You're gonna have navigation. Uh, the navigation works beautifully. It's touch screen. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can enter all kinds of stuff. Um, you have your wireless uh, Bluetooth for phone, the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, if you're familiar with those features. It used to be that you had to plug them in. You no longer have to do that with this system. You can actually connect via Bluetooth. And then all kinds of different stuff you can do here. We do have, if you're having a hard time seeing out your back door, you can actually push the second row 
headrest fold button or in the, yeah, in the third one that way you can see while you're driving we have the surround camera you can see all these views how beautiful and clean that is nice and easy and then you can also because there's a hitch back there you've got you can line up the trailer or boat or whatnot that you're going to be hauling and you can even zoom in on that as well so nice and easy to hook up right there then we have um down in here if you can see this is actually a wireless charging pad right here then you've got usb usc ports and an hdmi port and that um, controls your touch screen for your passenger over there and i can um, actually turn that on and off so if you don't want your husband telling you what to do you can shut his navigation off over there uh, you've got your toll haul mode you can turn your parking sensors off uh, if you don't like those or if you're hauling something and then you also have lane keep assist that's actually going to keep you in your lane so if you start to drift off it'll pull you right back in okay you have the select terrain four-wheel drive system on here super nice you can run it in the regular two-wheel drive setting in auto if it senses that it needs the uh if it senses any slippage it will send torque to all four wheels so that's the auto setting but then you can also set it to snow if it's blizzarding out or you can go off-roading and go in the sand and the mud and it's going to know exactly what to do just by using that they also have right here this is for your uh, quadra lift air suspension right now like i mentioned earlier it's down to the entry exit level i'll actually push turn this up and i'll have my buddy lloyd step out and show you what that looks like once it gets out there but before we do that i'll show you right here from the steering wheel you truly do have like hands-free driving right here you've got your bluetooth controls you've got your cruise control and then you've also got your adaptive cruise control if you don't know what adaptive cruise control is um, i do have videos on exactly how it works but basically it'll help keep you safe if you use that if somebody pulls out in front of you and you either don't see it or you don't want to you know adjust uh, you, by pushing on the brake it will automatically slow you down so you don't hit them and then it will come right back up to speed after you pull away from them and they're no longer in there so and then right behind your steering wheel you have your radio controls so you can turn your volume up and you can search for the radio station that you're looking for and of course you've got Sirius XM and you've got AM, FM, and your Bluetooth, and with your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, you can easily play the music right from your phone. You've got a 7-inch display right here in front of your steering wheel. Hi there! I'm going to put this up to, to the uh, top tier off-road mode very easily just by pushing this level and then uh, I'll let Lloyd show you from the outside what that looks like. Stop. Thanks for riding along with me. Check out our inventory at idchrysler.com and come see me, your goofy car gal, for your next ride. Or Lloyd or Britt because they're cool and they help me do this video.